Yoshihashi. Well, 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 listen, listen, listen. We've beaten you before for the Tag Team Championships. I've beaten you in the G1. I've beaten you in a New Japan Cup. And tonight, I'm beating you in the NJPW World Television Championship. Yoshihashi, look up at the skies. It's one, two, three. Done. Jeff Cobb, I'm sure you in New Japan Cup. ジワンでも負けた。ただ俺は負けっぱなしで終わらないからな、この野郎。今日必ずお前をリングに沈めてやる。本日のメインイベント、ニュージャパンワールド認定TBOザ決定トーナメント1回戦。15分1本勝負を
Tries nice to go after that knee. This is with the leg drop does come. Kick to the head from Yoshihashi. And that's the thing, Yoshihashi is far from pragmatic. He's not gonna run out the clock and, and think, oh, maybe I've got a less than 50-50 chance if we go one-on-one. -on -one. He's gonna push for the win and get it, try and get it as soon as he possibly can. Fast starters are at least 0-2. We saw that with Hinare. We saw that also with Alex Zane last night. And let's see if Yoshihashi, who absorbs that drop kick, can turn things around. Turning things around, a constant credo for Yoshihashi. The most unlikely of success stories in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Took him 12 years to finally be a champion here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And when he did in 2020, it completely turned his career around, turned his whole life around. And Jeff Cobb, of course, who born in Hawaii, but went to middle school, high school in Guam, represented Guam in the Olympics. Freestyle wrestling. And this crowd awestruck by the power and presence of Jeff Cobb, that nonchalant cover certainly won't beat Yoshihashi, but Cobb's in control. If Jeff Cobb, this means a chance to be a te television champion again, but also to get his big moment in the Tokyo Dome, where he's had great matches, singles matches in the Tokyo Dome, but not victorious against the Shingo Takagi, not victorious against the Tetsuya Naito this year. You know, the great Okan loves it. Yoshihashi sure doesn't get cheated on those chops, but Cobb swings Yoshihashi around, slams him down, standing moonsault on the way. Look at this, oh, it's just not fair to Yoshihashi. Yeah, got some semblance of his knees up. But at the same time, that's so much yeah. weight crashing down on your own knees that... Certainly, pay, yeah, paid a price to do so, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. Right now, Cobb has gotten knees into the rib cage. And Yoshihashi, fortune favoring the bold, able to now connect. Oh, Yoshihashi, beautiful head hunter. See what he's got cooking next. There you go, Kevin. Now he's starting to go downstairs. Yeah. And let's see if Cobb can. Oh, he cannot get the leg undraped from the rope. And there's the neck breaker. Downstairs, then upstairs into the cover and a kick out. Right downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. That's exactly what paid dividends for Tetsuya Naito when they faced off at Wrestle Kingdom, Jeff Cobb and Naito did. And Yoshihashi pursuing a similar tack. They're yeah, like the lumberjacks swinging the ax against the tree. And you never know which ax strike will make that tree fall. That's what Naito did at Wrestle Kingdom. Finally, the knee gave way. And yeah. Nope. Tried for Kumagorashi, perhaps, but just leaves himself open. Oh, but Cobb makes a mistake there. Luckily lands on his feet. Oh, can he take Jeff Cobb down? No, he can't. No, he can't. Uh oh 
Oh, no. Oh. Watch out. Oh, no, into the ring post. Did you see the game of cat and mouse? Cobb stood still. Yoshihashi waited for Cobb to make a move. Cobb didn't make a move. Yoshihashi dove over the top to force Cobb to make a move, leaping into the arms of the powerhouse, and it all comes unglued for Yoshihashi. Brilliant game within the game stuff there from Jeff Cobb, patiently waiting for Yoshihashi to leap. Yeah, that was the game of chicken that Yoshihashi blinked first. I think he wanted Jeff Cobb to come back into the ring. I knew he was dicing with death, but... And that's that clock in the back of your head. I've only got 15 minutes. How much time has elapsed? I'm not completely sure. I gotta go. And it winds up being a huge opportunity now for Jeff Cobb. He might just pick up the victory here via count out. And there wasn't but less than a second left before Yoshihashi dives in to break that count. Jeff Cobb won his RH World Television Championship. He beat Punishment Martinez in one minute and 27 seconds. It's been a, a little bit of a harder fight, but all the time he had that TV title, all of his wins are under 15 but one. Like he was smashing guys in, in Ring of Honor. Oh, he might smash Yoshihashi right through the ring. What's oh he even thinking here? Oh, my God. Oh, Gut. no. Man. A Avalanche, gut wrench, suplex. Yoshihashi bounced to the height of the bottom rope here. That took something out of Cobb as well. And now a cover two, and Yoshihashi barely, oh, but Cobb does not miss on the moonsault. But now, oh, he might have hurt himself, Kevin. Ooh, he might have hurt himself. His Cobb just, he must have landed on his knee. Howling in pain, howling out of frustration because he knows he's hurt something. Either it was on the leap or the land. Either way, Cobb's knee eerily reminiscent of Wrestle Kingdom with Tetsuya Naito, Chris. And that knee has just given way. He's got to try. And at this moment, Kevin, I don't think Yoshiashi knows about it. So here's the, the head games of how does Jeff Cobb not let on to Yoshihashi that that knee has gone south in a bad way. Well, Yoshihashi able to counter tour the islands. And oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh, look at that. He Take knows. That. He knew exactly that Cobb's knee had given way because Yoshihashi wrapping him up in the knee bar here, trying to anyway. Now he's got it. And Jeff Cobb is in deep, deep trouble. In the center of the ring, trying to turn away. Got to use that huge upper body strength to try and pull Yoshihashi to the ropes. And look at that transition. Yoshihashi two, three years ago wouldn't have been, wouldn't have had the wherewithal to have stopped Jeff Cobb like that, but still the base isn't gone entirely from the Imperial unit. So hobbled on the knee, spending time in that knee bar. Yoshihashi trying to find a way to choke Cobb out. Either way, Jeff Cobb's still in deep trouble. And now does Cobb press? Yeah. Realizing that his knee is on borrowed time. How about that? Cobb landing on his feet, rolling up to his feet, oh. and delivers Yoshihashi. Oh, Yoshihashi. Cobb can't believe it. Drop kick to the knee. Get back up, and that's the smartness again. He went downstairs instead of upstairs. Now with the Lariat. Here we go. Beautiful stack. Two. Cobb mostly pushing with his right leg. 
able to press Yoshihachi off, so less than five minutes to go. He'd have a 50-50 chance at 15 with Yoshihashi, but I think his chances might be higher than that if he goes home now. The pendulum has swung in favor of Yoshihashi, but this, this I don't believe in. He can't get Kama. Just too big, Cobb's too massive. Trying to make him run. Spin cycle, even on one leg, Cobb, incredibly strong. The holes him oh. up. Oh, oh wait a minute! Oh, oh, Inside, oh. cradle two! Whoa! Cross oh. kick. Cobb's knee buckled, but hangs on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, yes, he's out. Not letting them fall. Instead, tour of the... Uh, no. No, he's not again. He's sucking him in, Kevin. And not the calm up at the Two. roll up. The yes. in the face. How smart was Yoshihashi? Rolling karma gets it done. It was twice. It was the pull up on the first tour of the island that was suckering him in. It was a gimme for Jeff Cobb so he could roll up. And then the plan B again. And Jeff Cobb thought that it was an easy counter to Karma, dropped his weight down south, and that was precisely at Yoshiashi's clutches. Jeff Cobb cannot believe it. Oh, and how hot is the cheering crowd in Corcoran Hall going to be when Yoshihashi is going to be the hometown hero to face evil? Oh, man, Cobb is, yeah, absolutely. It's going to be electric here inside Corcoran Hall for that second round match between evil and Yoshihashi. Jeff Cobb cannot believe it. Terrible night for the United Empire on every single level. Sitan and Bushi moving to challenge the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Gabriel Kitt, uh, Gideon Gray rather, having a hole stop through him. And Hinari and Jeff Cobb both out of this TV title tournament. Oh, man. And Cobb is. Angered at the loss, humiliated, embarrassed. He was so cocky, so arrogant that he was going to defeat Yoshihashi easily. But we talked about the incremental gains, the slow climb, bit by bit, day by day. Yoshihashi with a huge win here tonight gets to close out the show at Cork and Hall. He's praised Yoshihashi for wrestling with his heart tonight. He wrestled with his head, and that's why he's victorious. First round of the tournament. Jeff Cobb. Yeah, I lost to you in the G1. Yeah, I lost you in the Japan Cup. Lost you in, in the tag league. But in the end, I'm the one standing tall after this main event. New Japan World TV There's only 15 minutes on the clock in these TV tournament matches. And that's why, just like you keep on saying, it's important to take advantage of every instant. And that's what I plan to do on the way to winning the TV title. In the end, who do you guys think will win? If you think Yoshihashi can do it, 
Send your support to your TV screens right now to Yoshihashi. Put one hand on your TV and send your money. New Japan World. To New Japan World. Oh, to Yoshihashi. Fast win. It'll take just one instant for Yoshihashi to capture the NJPW World Television Championship. Outstanding victory tonight for Yoshihashi. TV champion or not yet, I can tell you he'll be the people's champ. October 27th against Evil. The fans will be chanting Yoshihashi till their votes are raw. Uh, he'll be the mayor of Cork in that night, no doubt about it. It won't be 25% of the 15 minutes, it'll be the full length bell to bell. Right. All right, so that's going to do it for our coverage here. Battle Autumn 22 continues. Congratulations to Yoshihashi.